Just a really low quality video on my old iPhone. I don't know if the microphone's even going to pick this up. But I have uh, anybody here with these uh, these CEL Robox printers and you're having continuous gantry problems. I've got five of these and they've all been nothing but problems. But I replaced the capacitors. I had communication problems, mostly gantry leveling issues. But if you look inside, I replaced the aluminum, all those little surface mount aluminums. Even though my ESR meter was showing them good, I replaced them and with these uh, Panasonic 150 microfarad FM series. And there's seven of them I believe in there I've replaced and now the machine's working great. I've done three machines and three out of three are working perfect so I've got two more to go. Um, but anyways, this is probably the solution um, to these printers and Robox. I don't know, you, you're probably going to do, do an Apollo 13 on the gantry errors where you just run one actuator at a time. What I was finding, or what I think was happening, is the EMF on this large x-axis motor, that is the x-axis, I believe, left and right, uh, when it was decelerating, I was noticing that the gantry motors were malfunctioning. So it's, I think it's some kind of reverse uh, EMF or something coming off this motor generator was affecting this. I don't know. All I know is it's working now and I'm actually able to print again. So other than that, back to business. Hope this will help some other people out there. Kind of like the Canon printer that I had. I did a video on that. It helped a lot of people. Maybe this will help people with these 3D printers. So I really like them, other than this issue with them being re reliable. But with new capacitors, now they're doing really well.